Okay, uh, getting into some polynomial stuff. Expand and simplify. All right, now, there are, as usual, a couple of different ways to do this. I am usually going to FOIL first, which means I'm going to multiply these two brackets together first. I'm going to leave the negative 3 out front, and then multiply it in later. So I'm going to take my 4x times my 4x, my 4x times 3. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Remember, x times x always goes to x squared. 4x times 3 is positive 12x. Now go from the negative 3. Multiply that into the other bracket. Negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. And negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. Now, conveniently enough, plus 12x minus 12x goes to 0. So they go away. That goes to 0. And then I'll multiply my negative 3 into here, into there, and there. I could multiply it to 0 as well, but yeah, it's just going to be 0. So you get negative. 48x squared, and negative 9 times negative 3 is positive 27. Done. Next one. Uh, straight up distribution of two binomials. Multiply 3x times these two, and then multiply the negative 5 times those two. So you are going to get uh, 3x times 2x, 6x squared. 3x times positive 8 is plus 24x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10x, and negative 5 times 8 is negative 40. Which equals 6x squared plus 14x minus 40. Oh, make sure your zeros don't look like 6's. OK. Done. Expand and simplify. Uh, OK, next one, common factoring. Um, OK, now they usually do these questions of common factoring just to get you to practice the concept. But really, like we don't see multiple variable stuff like this. So I don't really like these common factoring questions. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't see multivariable stuff like this till like university. Anyways, we are going to divide by whatever number we can divide by. We can't take any numbers out. We can divide out the letters, though. There's two x's there, x squared. So two x's being multiplied. That's what x squared means. Here's three y's being multiplied. That's what y cubed means. So there's two x's being multiplied here, one x being multiplied there, so you can take out an x. There are three y's, y cubed, and two y's, so I can take out a y squared out of both of them. And then I divide that out. So if it helps you, you can even write down what you're taking out underneath. You can just divide like that. And then you can see what cancels out. You'll be left with 7xy minus 4z. That's done. OK, so next one. Now I have to take out a number and a letter. So I can divide all of these by 3. So again, if it helps you, you can just do this. So I'm going to divide all of them by 3. So 3 is coming out. I can take a y out of all of them. So y is coming out. So I'm going to rip a y out of all these. And then you can just divide. Now, very important trick here. When 3y gets divided by 3y, it does not go away. So back up here, 12 minus 12, that goes to 0. 3y divided by 3y does not go to 0. It goes to 1. Make sure you have that 1 there. Uh, this goes to negative 15x, because the y's canceled out. And this goes to 5xy squared. Because there were three y's there, you divided one of them out, so it's still just two y's divided, or multiplying there. OK, so that is common factoring. Now, look at this one. Again, if you forgot the one, then when you multiplied this in, you'd only get two terms. So in order to have these three terms, that one needs to be there, because then that times one will get you back to there. Cool? Watch that. OK, uh, factor the simple trinomials. Sure, I'll finish this one, and then we'll do decomp in another video. So simple trinomials means that you can simply get to an answer. It's really easy to get answer these ones. Now, the reason why it's so easy is because of that x squared. I know that x squared is coming from x and x. So x times x gives me x squared. Now, think about the 99. How can I get 99? Well, I can get it with 1 and 99. I can get it with 9 and 11. I can get it with a bunch of other things, 3 and 33. I want to find the one that gets me to negative 2, though. So if you can see this right away, you can just be like, oh, OK, well, if I minus 11 and add 9, now I multiply to that. And I add to that. Done. If you can't see that so well, what you have to do is you have to look for it. So take 99 and find all your factor pairs, which can be a lot. 1 and 99, 2 doesn't divide. 3 goes to 3 and 33. Uh, 4 doesn't divide. 5 doesn't divide. 6, I don't think 6 divides either. 7, 8, 9, and 11. And then 10 won't divide. And then you're back at 11, and you're going back up the other side now. So that's when you know you can quit. 
So those are all my factor pairs of 99. And 9 and 11 are the pair that will get me to negative 2, as long as this is negative and that's positive. Oh, also, notice that it was negative 99. So yeah, when this is negative, one of these two has to be negative. So which one's negative? Well, negative 11 plus 9 gives me that, gives me negative 2. OK, next one. So first of all, I know that y and y give me y squared. Now look for your factor pairs of 10 or negative 10. Always remember 1, but people usually forget that one. So 1 and 10, 2 and 5, not 3, not 4, and then I'm back to 5, so I'm done. Those are all the possible pairs. This one gets me to 3 if I have a positive 5 and I minus 2 from it. So now these multiply to 10 and add to 3.